It was the middle of the night on June 1st, 2011, when Space Shuttle Endeavour touched down at NASA's Kennedy Space Center for the last time. Your landing ends a vibrant legacy for this amazing vehicle that will long be remembered. Welcome home, Endeavour. That was then. This is now. And there it is. I've seen this so many times, and I, I never get over how massive it is. Today, the shuttle sits at the California Science Center in Los Angeles, where visitors can see it up close. And I mean really close. It's massive, and it's got uh, this history of having flown 25 times in space. And when you think about that, it's kind of got its own character and its soul that you can feel something more. While Endeavour is done flying, it'll soon be on the move again. Its last trip until now was a 12-mile journey from Los Angeles airport to here. <laughs> yeah, no one will ever forget that trip. Right. Now the next trip is much shorter. It's just from this side of the California Science Center to the other side of the California Science Center, where we're building the new Samuel Ocean Air and Space Center. To put it another way, Endeavor is getting its own museum. It is an enormous amount of planning. <laughs> because of its size, not to mention its thousands of specialized tiles, it can't fit through any door. Instead, the new Science Center will be built, get this, mostly around the shuttle. And when it's done, visitors will be able to see it in a way few people have seen it before. And so much of the mission here is to get people to look up. And now the shuttle will be, will be pointing up. It will. Our mission is to stimulate curiosity and inspire science learning in everyone. We want to get young people in particular to want to learn about science, engineering, and exploration. Space has always done that really well. Making it what could be the tallest vertical display of a real spacecraft anywhere in the world. And then comes the twin rocket boosters and fuel tank that'll make the shuttle look twice its size. This is the bottom piece of the solid rocket booster, wow. and that will attach to a seismic isolator. And then the rest of the solid rocket booster will go up. It's about 150 feet tall, 15 stories, and then we'll attach the external tank to that. I'm sorry, did you say seismic isolator? Seismic because isolator. Because of the earthquakes. Because of earthquakes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They didn't have that issue in Florida. Jeff and his team designed plans for the entire Science Center more than 30 years ago, and the process has been complex and challenging. But with a new home on the horizon, the payoff in setting their sights on this endeavor has been worth it. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.